Hey guys, welcome to the top three editor extensions for March, April 2018. So number one is the autocomplete text field, and this is a package which contains a class which is called autocomplete text field.cs, and it allows you to have a fully functional autocomplete text field for the editor, and it can be used in custom editors or field attributes, and it has a system which is built in to use the same way as the Unity editor field would work, and it returns a string with a value selected and it contains a couple of examples showing you with different scenarios of where it can be used. And the next one is called Project Prefs and Project Prefs allows you to easily save preferences uh, for your editor assets and this is an asset that can be used in the editor and the preferences are saved in a specific any file under the project settings folder and it also contains an editor, um, an editor window which allows you to easily modify the saved preferences and the UI allows you to easily manage your settings and the next one is something called adjust pivot and we've seen a I've seen a few assets from this developer and they've made a few good quality assets that can really help you out and this asset allows you to change the pivot point of an object without having to create an empty parent and change the pivot like that and it allows you to change it two types of ways to change the pivot and if the object doesn't have a mesh which is a mesh filter then you can have a script which simply changes its position and rotation and if the object does have a mesh then the script first creates an instance of the mesh and adjusts the mesh's pivot point by altering its vertices normals and tangents and can finally change its position and rotate the child objects accordingly and the next one is what we've called Bezier Solution and again from the same asset and it's a plugin which helps you create Bezier splines and easily create them with a visual editor or by coding during gameplay which includes in some utility functions like finding the closest point, point on the spline or traveling along the spine, spline at a constant speed. And there's a simple user interface, it sports runtime spline generation by code and it's a cool way to create them if you choose to do it if you need to maybe make a track or something in real time and again from the same developer this one's called asset usage detector and this allows you to find the usage of a specific asset or object in your unity project like it lists the objects that refer to them and you can use search the usage of an object which extends the unity dot object search for references in the asset folder search every corner of the project and it allows to search for non-specific unity objects data types and a lot more the next one is called icon generator generate icons from prefabs and this one suggests have you ever wanted to create a icon for your game but now you can easily do it and you can create icons for inventory items, MMO games, etc. And this allows you to create icons specifically from prefabs. Custom name for every icon. You can have custom settings for each. The icons by default are, feature, are produced at 128 by 128 resolution. It includes an am a sample scene so you can check out the functionality. And this is actually a fairly good one. So it might be something that you want to check out. And the next one here we have something called texture combiner and this allows you to be able to merge textures directly into unity and combine multiple black and white textures into only one so this if you want to convert textures into one you know atlas texture it might save on some optimization and the last but not least is called umodeler 2.0 free trial and the, the limitation of this allows three umodeler objects in any one scene and the hood for the scene is displayed at all times and it is just a, a bigger functionality of almost modeling tools within the unity engine so you can create you know custom um, sketch based modeling modeling with extrusion and extrusion based modeling box modeling and allow you to cr um, really quickly iterate on things that you've made and allow a lot a lot of peach features as you can see in the video below and your model is just a unity extension to let you model prototype easily quickly within the engine without ever having a 3d program be sure to check out all the free editor extensions for march april 2018 and be sure to check out all the other assets for this month and thank all the developers for making such fantastic assets for free so thanks again for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers